Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video we've got another mock test. So here we have Arjun, he'll be doing a mock test for us, he's got his test coming up, um, it's next week isn't it, yeah? Mm -hmm. And he's booked in a couple of hours every day, so we're going to see how this mock test goes. Even if he does make a lot of mistakes, which is good for you guys, so you can watch the mistakes, we've still got enough time to sort them out before this test. So we're going to treat it like a normal driving test. Arjun will be following the sat nav, we'll go through the show me tell me questions, he'll carry out a manoeuvre and during the drive, if he does make a mistake, I won't be coming in and telling him that he's made a mistake. Obviously, we'll go through it at the end. And for you guys, I'll make sure I do a voiceover and go through the faults if they happen. Okay, guys. So just before we get started, I'm going to quickly run through the three types of faults and how they're marked down on the driving test sheet. So firstly, we have a normal driving fault. So this is a fault that isn't too dangerous, hasn't caused any danger to anyone. And as long as you don't keep doing the same one again and again, you're allowed 15 of these. If you make 16, then that will result in a fail on the driving test. Then we have a serious driving fault. So this is a fault that could have potentially been dangerous. And if you make one serious fault, this would result in a fail on the driving test. So finally, we have a dangerous driving fault. So a dangerous driving fault is a fault that caused actual danger at the time you committed it. So for example, you're about to hit another car, the examiner normally comes in, intervenes and helps you out. And obviously one of these would mean a fail on the driving test. So I will reveal to you guys now that Arjun does commit four serious faults. Before each serious fault, I will pause the video and let you know that he's about to commit the fault so you guys can pay attention watch the fault and this will help you avoid doing it on your driving test and guys if any of you would like a driving mock test with myself for our youtube channel then please get in touch by visiting our website which is www.dgndriving.co.uk and just fill in a callback form and we'll be in touch the mock test will take place from Wolverhampton Driving Test Centre and anybody can take the mock test. So you could have already passed or you could have your driving test coming up. The only condition is that this will be uploaded onto our YouTube channel. So if any of you are interested, just get in touch. So Arjun, are you ready? Mm -hmm. So to start off with, could you tell me how you'd know if there's a problem with your anti-lock braking system? Uh, the red ABS sign on the dash will stay illuminated. Well done, good. When you're ready, if you could move off. So to start off with, I want you to follow the sat nav, yeah? Mm -hmm. okay.
300 yards, go right on the roundabout, and take the third exit, A4039, Coesley Road. Go right on the roundabout, and take the third exit. So Arjun's driving really well at the moment and he deals pretty well with these roundabouts. now we're coming up to Arjun's first driving fault so what he does here is he puts his left signal on when he doesn't really need it as we're going straight ahead at the roundabout but he does realize and cancels it therefore he's just a normal driving fault <laughs> Just a little, but... At this roundabout, Arjun makes another driving fault. So what he does here, he drives slightly over the white line. He was supposed to stay to the left of this white line, but his front right tire goes slightly over, but then he does correct himself. So again, it's nothing too dangerous. So another normal driving fault. Here now I'll be asking Arjun to park up anywhere safe on the left and then move off whenever he's ready. This will be done around three times on the driving test. After 200 yards, turn right. After 200 yards, turn right, A41, Oxford Street, then Cross the roundabout 
and take the second exit, A463, Black Country Route. Okay, if you could move off when you're ready. When moving off, Arjun makes another driving fault. He doesn't prepare the car properly, so therefore, just before moving off, he rolls back slightly. So it's just a slight roll back, no danger caused, so another driving fault. A41 Oxford Street, then cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A463 Black Country Route. Arjun deals really well with this busy junction, but soon after this turning is when he commits his first serious fault. So here now we're coming up to Arjun's first serious fault. So if you listen very carefully to the sat-nav, the instructions that the sat-nav gives is to take the second exit to the A463, but it doesn't actually give you a direction, so it doesn't actually tell you to either go straight or left. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A463, Black Country Route. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit. So I think here Arjun just assumes that the second exit is straight ahead. But if you look at the sign, the second exit to the A463 is towards the left. That's why it's really important to look at the signs and not just rely on the sat nav alone. So Arjun should have just stayed in the left lane as this can be used for both the first and the second exit as they are both to the left. But instead he decides to switch over to the right hand lane. So even if Arjun had gone the wrong way, I wouldn't have really given him a serious fault for that. But what happened when he tried to change from the left to the right hand lane is that he didn't really check his mirrors and he didn't notice that there was a car trying to overtake. And when he tried to go over, I had to come in and ask him to keep to the left hand lane otherwise we could have hit the car or cause that car to slow down suddenly so that's why he got the serious fault for there keep to the left please it's left second exit Left 
straight down to the car park, please. Coming up now is Arjun's second serious fault. So here I'm taking him into a car park to carry out one of the manoeuvres. But when entering this car park, you'll notice that he doesn't check the right hand side at all. There's clear giveaway markings on the floor, so he should be checking both sides for cars, but he doesn't check the right hand side where the cars could be coming from. So that is another serious fault. forward into one of these bays on the right please, the forward bay park manoeuvre. This forward bay park manoeuvre and reversing back out, Arjun does really well. back out. I'm going to drive out that way, yeah, the front of the car, that way please. does this big roundabout really well. He keeps good lane positioning when going straight ahead.
but there are still another couple of serious faults coming up. Here we have another serious fault coming up so I ask Arjun to take the next turning on the right. So this turning is on a very sharp bend. Instead of keeping his car to the left and following the bend around a little bit more, Arjun starts steering to the right too early. So he didn't really look out for any oncoming vehicles that could be coming from around the bend on the left. So here I had to come in and ask him to keep to the left, therefore it's another serious fault. Stay to the left a bit more please. A bit more.
of the road, turn right please. So here we have another driving fault coming up. So at this roundabout, we're going straight ahead. So Arjun should stay in the left hand lane, which he does. But what he does here is he steers a bit too much to the left and gets really close to the left hand side. So he gets a driving fault here for his steering. Here we have another serious driving fault coming up. So I ask Arjun to turn right to the exit at the roundabout, which he does fine. But then we're turning right again at the traffic lights. And what he does here when going into the right hand lane, he doesn't check his mirrors at all. So not checking your mirrors before changing lanes is a definite serious fault. Here, when waiting at the traffic lights, Arjun doesn't apply the handbrake properly, so therefore the car rolls back a little bit. There's nobody behind us, so it's not dangerous, but still a normal driving fault. Hey guys, I'm going to apologize because the camera that was recording my speedometer, the battery died. So for the rest of this video, we're going to have no speedometer on the screen. Sorry about that.
Here, when Argentine's right, he steers slightly too early. Therefore, he goes onto the other side of the road a little bit, what we call a corner cut. And again, it's nothing dangerous, so another normal driving fault. Here we have a very steep uphill junction. A lot of people really struggle with these junctions but Arjun deals with this really well.
Here again, when Argentine's right, he steers too early, so another corner cut. So I'd have two driving faults now for cutting the corner. So we are almost back at the driving test center. This is where we're going to run through the faults with Arjun and we'll see if he realized he made these driving faults.
switch off the engine for me. Okay, right. How do you feel that went? Ah, uh, not too bad, but not too good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Overall, how do you think your driving was? Mm, it wasn't good, I don't think. Well, all of it wasn't good, or just parts of it? Parts of it, I think. Most of it was pretty good. That wasn't an easy test, it was quite difficult, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, there were some uh, serious faults, mm -hmm. okay. There were some other driving faults, but we're just going to go through the serious ones. Obviously, on the video, you can see all the others as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how many serious faults? Remember, one serious fault, yeah, mm -hmm. means you failed your driving test, yeah. Yeah. So, how many serious faults do you think you did today? I Any idea? I think about three. Three. Any yeah. idea what they were? One was when you had to come in with the wheel because I was staying, I was in the wrong lane. I was indecisive. Yeah, you were indecisive. Obviously, you got a bit confused with the sat nav there, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the sat nav was saying second exit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you looked at the sign, the second mm -hmm. exit was towards the left. Oh, okay. Okay, mm -hmm. and the road markings. So mm -hmm. you're supposed to use the left lane, but if you'd gone into the right hand lane earlier, that mm -hmm. would have been fine. Like if you went the wrong way, mm -hmm. not, no problem with that, yeah. Mm -hmm. But as you were about to drift that way, mm -hmm. what was in your right hand lane? Did you know a car. A car oh, yeah, that's yeah. why I had to come in, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so yes, you understand why that would have been a serious, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. So obviously never change your lanes mm -hmm. unless you know what's happening around you. It's safer to go the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so that was the first one. Anything else? Mm, I think there's more like lane changing at roundabouts and all that. Uh, not really. Your roundabouts, your mirrors and roundabouts, mm -hmm. gear changing, it was all it was all pretty good. Mm -hmm. So um you remember when we entered Morrison's car park? Mm -hmm. So when we entered in the car park, so we turned left off the door carriage, we went down, and mm -hmm. there was there was some giveaway markings there. Mm -hmm. And so before you went past the giveaways, where should you have looked? Mm, right. Yeah. yeah. Did you look to the right at all? I don't think I did. No, yeah. There was no observations there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what if somebody was coming? You better hit into them. That's it. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, you can watch it back on the video. Mm -hmm. And then remember that awkward uh, right turn. Mm -hmm. When I should turn right, yeah. it was on a mm -hmm. bend, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. See, it wasn't. You you were getting a kind of an okay sp position, but in the end, it just drifted too far oh, to the right. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you were, you started going over the white white lines. Mm -hmm. There was some someone coming around the bend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what did I have to do? You had to tell me to move yeah. right left again. Mm -hmm. That was another one for your steering mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. that was a serious one. And finally, mm -hmm. one more. So are you fourth serious? <laughs> Any idea where that was? No, where was that one? So remember when we turned right at that roundabout and I said we're turning right again at the traffic lights? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what you did was mm -hmm. because it said right again, mm -hmm. you came off in the right hand lane, which is fine, mm -hmm. yeah. But before going back into the right hand lane, which mirror should you have checked? Centre and left. Centre and right, sorry, going to the right, right lane. Yeah. yeah sorry. Did you check any mirrors? No, I didn't check any mirrors. Again, at all. just imagine there's a motorbike overtaking you. Mm -hmm. What would have happened? Would have hit into them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds quite bad, doesn't it? Four serious faults. Yeah. yeah. But remember, you've still got about 10 hours. Yeah. yeah. You think we could sort this out in 10 hours? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easy. Remember these mock tests? Mm -hmm. That's what they're for. Yeah. See, would you have realised half of these faults? You no, I don't think I would have. Yeah. But well, you reckon they'll happen again now? No, definitely Ho not. Hopefully not. Yeah. So, thanks a lot for that. Okay guys, so I hope you found that really helpful and if there are any of you that would like to do a mock test for our YouTube channel and can make your way to Wolverhampton Test Centre, then please get in touch. Uh, I'll put the link below in the description, so just go onto our website, call the number and say you'd like to do a mock test for our YouTube channel. Obviously it'll be totally free of charge, but like it will be uploaded on YouTube. So if any of you or any family members, even if you're already qualified, would like a mock test, get in touch. And guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next video.